Hi! This video is going to show you how to do some of the finishing touches of the sand hill sling. Okay, so I'm going to go around and clip the lining to the exterior and I'm going to use this previous stitching um, when I installed the zipper to line my fabric so it just covers, the lining just covers that stitch line. Um, I think I'm going to start at each zipper end. I like to make sure that that's kind of aligned first. Um, and since we've already tacked the lining to the exterior up here, there's no way that you're going to kind of make it off center. So I'm going to go ahead and clip these together. Okay, so I have clipped all the way around, and what I find that if you just kind of use your thumbs and make sure the fabric is kind of stretched and aligned, you should get a good enough fit for what we're gonna do next. So if you wanted to do that before you did your glue um, fusible tape, you would do that. Um, let me grab that. So here's the fusible web tape. Um, I have a quarter inch, and this is kind of what it looks like here. Just rip off a little piece. Um, the one side is sticky, tacky, and then the other side is uh, paper. So what you're gonna do is, I'll just open this up. You would take the sticky side and place it on either side. It doesn't really matter if you um, stick it to the zipper or the lining fabric. But you would do that. And I find just like a really good press with your thumbs is good enough. Um, and then you're going to want to peel off that little layer of paper. I peel off the paper, it leaves this little strip of glue, and that's where you're going to bend your fabric up to. And so then once you have it all aligned, I'm just going to clip it, um, and then you would take it over to the ironing board and just give it a good press. Um, you might want to use like a hot pad or you, if you have a pressing ham, you could use that, or if you can just get along the front edge of your ironing board, that works too, but you're gonna um, iron it really well. Just careful not to melt these zipper teeth, um, and that iron is gonna fuse that fabric together. So you could do that as an alternate to hand basting. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the last step of this bag, putting it together. We're gonna to talk about a few ways you could go about it. Um, this is the method that I'm going to use. I'm going to hand baste it with a needle and thread. Um, as you can tell, I'm not using matching thread. It's contrasting so I can see it because I'm gonna be pulling it out later. But I thought it'd be helpful if you're maybe not as familiar with a quilter's knot. This is really helpful. I, instead of doing it the way that I kind of grew up with, this is kind of an easier method. So, um, let's see. We're gonna point the needle tip to the ends of the thread. I have, um, I have it doubled through the eye of the needle, so there's two strands coming out. So when I point them together, and then I'm just going to cross them. I'm gonna wrap it one, two, three times, and I'm gonna hold that wrapping on my needle, and then just gently pull it through, gently pull the needle. And there is the knot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and thread base the rest of this. Here's that little seam that I did the fusible tape with. Um, I'm just gonna take the uh, clips off as I go and using my needle and thread, I'm going to go through, I find it easiest to go through the lining and actually just skip going through the exterior fabric. See, my needle came up um, just on the inside of that. It's just gonna go really quick um, to just go through the zipper as long as you're catching the lining, 
um, that's all you kind of really need. And you don't have to go super close together, uh, maybe a half inch, but it gives you a really great control of how the final um, product is going to come together. So I'm just going to keep going around all along the edges, over across the end of the zipper, and travel all the way back to where I started. You might want to take slightly smaller stitches um, as you reach each inside corner. Um, just help keep everything together. That's the goal, right? And as I get to the end of this piece of thread that I'm using, um, you don't have to be fancy about uh, finishing off because you're going to take it out. So. I'm just going to loop it through and kind of tie a whatever kind of knot. It doesn't really matter as long as it holds it sort of in place and while you're sewing it. Okay, so that's the thread basting. You can see you can see it from the outside, which is no big deal. We'll be taking it out, and that's kind of what it looks like. Next, we're going to take it to the machine and sew it up. Okay, so I usually like to start on the back side of the bag, um, just so if I more fussy about the front, I can wait and do that towards the end and I'm just going to slide under my presser foot and the key here is to just go slow and keep your seam allowance about an eighth of an inch you're going to do with the top stitching and as you get to each corner each of these um, curves that's kind of where you're going to want to flatten out the fabric and just take it one stitch at a time. Also, I have my stitch length at a three, and if your um, sewing machine has the needle down function, that's a great time to use it, so I'm gonna start with that. So 
So whenever I'm lifting my foot off the um, pedal, it's going to put the needle into the fabric. And that's great for top stitching like this because then um, you won't have any wiggling around when you're uh, adjusting further. If your sewing machine does have a free arm where you can take off a little piece of the machine and there's just a little bit of the bed exposed, this is a great time to use that. Mine does not, it's a flat bed. It's fine, I make it work, but um, if you're kind of struggling, that's a great option. As I get to each kind of zipper end, I'm going to just Keep aligning and readjusting. And I see that I basted my zipper like that. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I want to keep it up and out of the way. You can <clears throat> slide it closed for this part so that everything is lined up inside. Just kind of feel underneath here. Um, Make sure everything is smoothed away. And then you're gonna sew down across the previous top stitching and then travel back up the other side of the zipper. just back stitch at the end. Okay, so last step, if you don't see anything too uh, crazy, you can go ahead and take your basting stitches out. And then that's it, you're all set. Okay, so here's a little bonus. Um, this is a, about an 11 inch piece of wax cord. I'm just gonna double it. And we're gonna use this for the zipper pull of the bag. We'll go down through the big hole of the zipper pull. And then both of them will go up through the little hole. And then you place them down. We're gonna go through that loop that you made and then just pull so it's snug and then you can go ahead and tie a knot and then just trim it in. and there you go zipper pull